Hello Virgo, this is going to be your February reading. I hope you're doing well. If you need a personal from me, um, I just want to let you guys know I will be taking a break in February. So you will need to get a personal from me in March, okay? I may be doing emergency readings. I'm still undecided about that. So just check the site. If um, it says anything about emergency readings, you can just follow the procedures on the site. And we'll go from there, all right? So let's see what's going on with Virgos for the month of February. What's going on with Virgo? What's going on with Virgo? A fire sign Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Five of Cups. So something um, pretty crappy may have happened in the past, okay, but we're still hopeful here with the Five of Cups. Okay. Maybe you and your partner had has had some disagreement. Okay, some of you may have walked away from a relationship or experienced some type of loss, okay? But I am feeling with the Five of Cups, we are trying to look towards the future, okay? Um, and see how we can better ourselves in our situation, okay? We have the Six of Pentacles in the past. <clears throat> we're releasing the Hangman energy. That's pretty cool, okay? So we're releasing being stuck. <laughs> Nobody's mad about that. And then we have a water sign in the future, okay? Um, mm, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio showing up in the future. Some of you, are, um, this is talking about children. Queen of Cups here. This could be you becoming a mother or your mother in some way, okay? Um, this could be about family, I am feeling, for some of you, Okay. So let's see if automatically I'm going to clarify that Queen of Cups. So some of you could be dealing with a water sign, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. All right. So some of you could be leaving a water sign to move towards a fire sign. Okay, you could be leaving. So for people who don't know what water signs are, it's Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and going towards an Aries, Sagittarius, or a Leo. Okay, you have the Eight of Cups, the Page of Wands, and the Ace of Wands. So, um, this would, in my opinion, talk about leaving a situation, going towards a new one, page of wands, ace of wands. For some of you, this is talking about a job, okay? Uh, maybe some of you have lost employment and now you're moving towards something else or you have decided to leave a job, okay, for whatever reason. Because page of wands and ace of wands can definitely be a new job. All right, the six of pentacles in the past, so maybe with the situation, um, you were at a job and the financial stability that you, you used to have from this job you no longer have anymore so you may have found yourself having to leave or find another job I'm not seeing a tower here so I don't feel like it was an, a like you got fired or something it may have just been a decision to have to move okay so those are for those who this is going to resonate for a career all right um, but for those who this is about love um, again walking away from something to start new okay could be walking away from a water sign let's see who this page of wands and ace of wands is i'm curious i'm clarifying already too all right wow okay Ooh. okay five of wands king of wands and the two of cups so some of you are definitely the the fire signs are popping in virgo's reading okay so virgos are um taking a walk on the wild side okay they're trying to get in touch with a fire sign okay whoever this fire sign is or this king of wands to you the two of cups it's a pretty strong connection here i will say the five of wands did come out so there are some struggles to try to get to this person all right there may be have there may be like beef or like arguments between both of you okay um but I feel like whatever conflicts you may have with this person will be worked out in some way, okay? Um, but it may not also be conflicts. It, can, it could be other um, problems like financial problems. Five of Wands can be a lot of different things. It could just be like little differences that you have with this person, okay?
okay? I will say with it being a Two of Cups relationship, it doesn't seem like it's going to be just simple and easy, okay? Especially if you are having to leave behind a water sign or someone that you're caring about because this is the Five of Cups energy, okay? Um, even though you're still looking um, back at the past, the, three, the Two of Cups is behind that, okay? So we do have the Two of Cups standing up in the corner there, and then we have the Two of Cups coming up in your future. So even though you may be leaving behind a relationship this month, you are going towards something way better that serves you a little bit better here. So let's go over your, your feelings, and then we'll go over your partner's feelings. All right, so some of you are going towards a Leo energy or an Aries, Sagittarius. You could be leaving a fire sign and going towards a water sign, but I feel like whatever the situation may be, you were stuck for a while with the hangman, and now you're deciding to move forward. Show me Virgo's partner's feelings. Thank you. <clears throat> so we have the Knight of Pentacles and the Emperor. Yeah, some of you are done with an Aries, or this could be a Taurus, a Capricorn, or a Virgo. So your partner is feeling like this situation is moving too slow. So for some of you, um, This could go one or two ways. If you're going towards a new person, the fire sign or an Aries, whoever this is, they're feeling like you're taking forever to come back around, okay? You are showing up, Virgo, as the Knight of Pentacles energy, male or female. This is a general reading. So they're feeling like, not only do they feel like you should reach out to them or come towards them, but they're feeling like you're doing it very slowly, okay? Whoever this person is, if there was, like, beef with this person, because that the five of wands, like, it's here. If you had issues with this person in the past, they may feel like you need to reconcile with them. They may feel like you're, not saying you're in the wrong, but they're not going to concede first with the emperor here, okay? So whoever you're dealing with, maybe you're a little bit prideful or stubborn, okay? It could be an Aries or a Taurus. So they're pretty stuck in their, their little bag there. All right, so let's see what's going on with Virgo feeling. Okay, Four of Pentacles. So you're this. You're in the same way. <laughs> you're like kind of closed off towards this too. So it's almost like a stalemate energy. And I feel like this is why these fives are showing up. Someone's gonna make a move here though. Because we have this ace of wands and page of wands in the future maybe the fire sign is going to be the one that reaches out honestly when i felt um if you're like having a stalemate energy with someone even if you are talking to them it's going to be like who's going to make the first move whatever you know um let's see who's going to come forward first show me this first energy It's hard to say because even the, now the Emperor is still showing up as the Queen of Swords. So some of you could be dealing with an air sign, Leo, um, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, or your uh, partner could be dealing with an air sign currently. See, even you're coming up as the Virgo energy, for Hermit. So <clears throat> and the Two of Pentacles. So it could be the Virgo who still has an ex that they need to release, okay, in order to move towards this person. Or it could be the Virgo's partner who has someone that they need to release. It could be an air sign, and that's why the situation isn't moving forward. It's interesting because this says that this hangman energy is going to be released this month. So let's see if we can clarify and find out how that's going to happen. All right, they didn't even let me shuffle. So we have the three of pentacles in reverse. Again, if this is a job, um, you may be releasing, again, releasing this job with the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Someone's deciding to leave a third party situation. Page of Cups and the Two of Wands. If you're dealing with the water sign, the water sign some of y'all are not having good uh, connections with water signs right now. 
some of you are feeling like the water sign isn't as serious or the water sign could be feeling that way about you it's almost though you guys are stuck in a cycle with someone someone that you're dealing with is like giving you two of wands energy they don't know what they want okay they're stuck in a cycle with this past person or um, they're just stuck in their ways in general okay It doesn't have to be a fire sign. It can be any sign. Yeah, I'm just seeing a lot of like, like not reaching out. A lot of like no action here. All right, here's the six of wands. But how do we get to the six of wands? See the five of pentacles and the six of swords. See, someone's got to make an offer here with the four of cups. I know I'm just pulling cards, but I'm trying to see who's going to eventually reach out. Maybe the fire sign with the full card coming up, okay? Especially if you're dealing with an Aries energy. Uh, but there's a lot of confusion. There's a lot of, like, um, someone doesn't want to make the first move here, okay? Uh, someone also needs to get rid of a third party first before this can move forward, okay? But there's a strong connection here between you and this person, okay? It may be slow to grow with the Knight of Pentacles. There may be some pride involved. There may be other parties involved. But this is a connection that is, like, bound to come together with this Two of Cups here, okay? So um, I'd be surprised if there wasn't some type of, like, forward movement with this person in the next two months or so, okay? So let's see. card for this energy for Virgo, please. Three. Two. One. Thank you. So we have trickery. So maybe that's the problem. Someone was, um, someone's dealing with another person. Okay. Um, someone also may be a slight na narcissist with the vanity card coming up. I, I kind of get it's this person here. Whoever came up as the emperor, the cross watcher, or Virgo's partner. Virgo's partner is kind of, they're, uh, not only are they a little shady, but um, they're very prideful and a bit narcissistic. They could very much be an Aries. Now, if you're a cross watcher watching this, this isn't your video, so don't take it personal. I'm just reading this for Virgo. So I'm not saying that it could be you, just remember this isn't your video. So the messages that I'm talking about may not specifically be for you. They could be for Virgos who are dealing with a narcissistic person. Because this person even feels, if especially if even if they have another person that they're dealing with, they still feel like you're supposed to come back and reconcile with them, okay? I feel very strongly, Virgo, that you're like, um, yeah, okay, I, I, I wish I would come back and try to talk to you or whatever the situation is and fix this you're very solid on this hermit and four of pentacles energy okay we were already getting thank you next vibes in the last in the in the readings before this so that's kind of what this energy is i'm not saying that you wouldn't reconcile with this person um but i get that it would take them reaching out to you or them um trying to fix things with you okay or it would take one of you leaving behind another party, okay? Some of you could decide that you're not dealing with this person moving forward, okay? It doesn't necessarily have to be a fire sign if it's an earth sign or an air sign or whatever sign, okay? You could be dealing with two different energies here. You could be dealing with an ex person and a new person, okay? And some of you may be deciding to let this ex go that things aren't moving forward with and move forward with another energy with that ace of wands and that page of wands we saw earlier. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull you a romance oracle card. Thank you so much for watching this far in if you have. I need an oracle card for Virgo for February. Two, right. You guys card flew on out out the deck. So you have forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Okay, so um, forgiving and learning tells me that the problem with you and this person, because I do feel a lot of love between you and whoever that emperor was to you, 
that person who's like not reaching out or not making a lot of movement to move the relationship forward there may have been some past history with that person with the five of wands showing up here so someone's gonna have to learn how to forgive and move on okay before you guys can move forward um, I do feel like there's a bit of trust issues here or there may have been some type of infidelity or some you know whatever in the past but we need to move forward so forgiving and learning is definitely uh, important for you this month okay now if you can you can forgive someone and still not be ready to take them back okay um, just be open if it's someone that you feel you may want a second chance with okay or if you don't want a second chance with this person you can forgive them and move the hell on because you don't want to take all that baggage into your next re next relationship okay and if you don't understand that you can listen to bag lady by erica badu i ain't got all the time to be explaining that Pack light. okay anyway i'm about to keep it moving i hope you guys enjoyed this video please leave a comment i would really appreciate that uh, if you need a personal hit me up in march okay bye